Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. It's above 40 degrees out in the garage, so I'm going to do this quick job without a coat. Maybe I won't catch fire that way. Uh, today we're going to be cutting off a piece of, of stock that I'm going to be using to make the uh, main drive shaft for the Swan beam drilling machine. It's made out of a piece of inch and a quarter stock that I picked up at Alro Steel. This is called a drop. And the reason it's called a drop is it's a cut off piece. You can buy a full stick, uh, usually 20 feet long, sometimes longer than that. 40 is about the max though because they can't ship it down the road in anything much longer than that. And it's a standard coming out of the mill. But I didn't need 40 feet. I needed seven and a half inches. Seven and a half inches is a good size, <clears throat> but unfortunately they didn't have a drop that size. So. Why did I buy a drop? Well, it costs money to get one cut off. To have a cut made on this is 10 bucks. To buy the extra two feet, it's a dollar a pound. It worked out to about $11. So, it was a, a no-brainer decision for me. I just bought the drop. The other thing is, you can always use an extra piece of stock around the shop. So, having an extra piece of inch and a quarter, not a problem. When I was setting up to cut the steel plate, I needed to move this back stop because it wasn't wide enough to get in there and do what I needed to have done. So now to cut the bar, I have to put it back where it was originally, which is just the work of a few minutes. I have to take loose a couple of bolts and slide the stop back. Son of a gun. Need a lemon sixteenths. Lemon sixteenths is missing out of my kit. Now I'm going to set this up in the saw. If you notice, when I tried to cut the big plate, I had a little problem. The saw blades cut because they're able to wear away. Well, abrasive saw blades cut because they're able to wear away steel. And they wear away steel by having these grit particles in the blade that are embedded in the matrix. They tear off a little piece as they go through. They make scratches thousands of scratches and because this thing goes really fast they make a lot of them in a, in a big hurry. Those scratches mean that it wears away the steel but at the same time that scratch is making a little chip. Now the chip since the final piece is going to be seven and a half inches long I want to cut a little extra. I need some to clamp into the chuck jaws so I'm thinking nine inches and it'll be just about right. Doesn't have to be precise at this point because it's just making a length long enough to stick into the lathe reasonably. This is going to be noisy. You probably want to turn down your audio about this point.
You notice that the saw is cutting through this piece of stock a lot quicker than it did the steel plate. This piece of stock is narrower. The chips were building up on the wheel because it couldn't get them out of the way in that long cut. When I was trying to cut that plate, I ended up with a cut about five inches long. That meant that the chips that were made in the first part of the cut rode through on the blade all the way through and just rubbed. That's why I just didn't want to cut. This narrow piece, by the time the chip gets out the other side and falls off, it's not had a chance to clog up the wheel. The reason I had problems cutting the plate, I was using the wrong tool. Now that I have the piece of bar stock cut off, I gotta put away all these tools so that I got the garage clear for my wife to pull in. But then I'm gonna set up the piece of bar stock and the chuck, use the steady rest to hold it while I face off this end, and then drill it for a center. Then I'm gonna flip it around, face off this end, drill it for a center so that I can turn this between two centers. That's the easiest way to make sure that everything's concentric. Putting it in the chuck and turning it means every time you take it out of the chuck, you have to recenter it. By putting it between centers, it's an automatic thing. Old Smealock here again. Thanks for watching. Have you subscribed yet? If you enjoyed the video, please take a moment and click the thumbs up.